Get to the power. Yeah, she definitely got some good power and she goes. It's 405 horsepower with 445 pound feet of torque. Definitely moves this truck. Good afternoon everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Peter. Today we're gonna get to review and test drive this 2023 Ford F-250 single cab XL model. Now this is gonna be basically the cheapest Super Duty that I have tested out uh, in my channel. I've done recently a King Ranch, a Tremor Lariat, you know, F-250 with a crew cab. This is basically a single cab with an eight foot bed, cheapest Ford Super Duty that I have tested on the channel. Before we go on, I want to give a big shout out to Bartow Ford for allowing me some time with this F-250. Big thank you to Tim and I'm going to put all their information and a link to their website in the description below. So ladies and gentlemen, here we have basically the starter version of the Super Duty trucks that Ford gives you. This one here, as you can see, 2023 model. Uh, Fortunately, there's no single cap 2024s in the lot yet. So this is basically the cheapest F-250s you can get here on the lot or Super Duties. Now this one here that we have with us here is finished off in vermilion red, which is a color that's not available for 2024. So only for 2023, you're gonna have to go to a raised red in the 2024 trucks if you want a red color. Goes well with this kind of short bed, kind of a semi-sport off-road truck. This one here, that what a Attracted to me, this one here is these 33 inch wheels that come standard or come with this package that this F250 has. We also have some steps that were installed by the dealership. As you can see, you got single cab, eight foot bed, have a side step here on the side of your bed here. We got the same tires and wheel package here in the very back, four by four decal. And coming here to the back, as you can see, we have some chrome on the bumpers that this one is equipped with the chrome package. Kind of just a minor chrome package, as you can see. But, but coming around, this one here does have a spraying banner that was also done by the dealership. And as I mentioned, also the steps as well. But this is a pretty cool looking truck. I like it. It's kind of small, kind of your smallest variant of this Super Duty trucks. It's got the 6.8 liter, the brand new one for 2020, or this new generation of Super Duty is a 6.8 liter, normally aspirated V8. 4x4, pretty, basically this is the lightest truck and pretty cool combination to go off-road in something this small, but it is actually a Super Duty. So coming up here, as you can see, we got basically just the, basically your base front grill base halogen headlights halogen fog lights but you got a bit of front grille that's done in, in uh, chrome as you can see this part of this chrome package you got some black tow hooks it's got a unique front bumper to this one as well considering this has got the off-road package but i like it. it's pretty cool truck i really like this combination it's a smaller truck that you can probably enjoy then set instead of one of something huge you know like those king ranches are long but only, unless you need something you know more luxurious towing rig this is actually a perfect fit for a super duty so before we go on let's go ahead and check out the sticker of this f250 xl as you can see this one here they start off at just over forty six thousand dollars it's got a bit of options that vermilion red starts at 650 and you got a bit of options i'm gonna put this bill sheet on on your uh on the computer guys on the uh, screen so as you can see this one here has the pro power on board we got the work surface we got lead box lighting we also have the uplifter switches tailgate step bull battery the chrome package for a total price of 52,570. but this dealership installed a few options extra you got some tinted windows you got the side steps as well and also the spring bed liner for a total price of just about fifty-four thousand dollars for this super duty now so for about a thousand dollars this off-road package seems to be a pretty good deal to me you get the 33 uh, inch goodyear wrangler dread tech altering tires you can see a pretty aggressive tire that this package gives you now this has no upgrades to the suspension just basically just a tire package this uh, package also gives you higher uh, bent tubes for the transfer case and also the transmission so you're able to get into a little more deeper water so if you want to do some water fording and also this one has with electronic locking rear as well so you get a pretty good amount of things for this thousand dollar package i think it's a pretty good deal considering it comes from the factory now coming here to the back as you can see we got this eight foot bed it's pretty cool we already got your tow receiver ready to go now this one here is uh, i'm going to put the screen for the uh, numbers for you guys up on the screen because i didn't see any sticker here that indicated the amount of tow you can do this has got the base engine the best v8 with a short cab you should be in the nine to twelve thousand but i'll put those numbers for you guys up on the screen let's go ahead and uh put this bed door down you see we do have a reverse camera there as well and this way you have to hold it because it's not dampened at all so here we have this eight foot bed which is pretty good decently good bed as you can see this got a spraying bed liner which is installed by the dealership this one does carry the pro power on board um package as well which is pretty cool that uh gives you the lighting here and you got plenty of uh 
voltage to hook up all your tools and whatnot that's a pretty good thing they have that gives you the both batteries here in the right front to give you that extra power to power this two kilowatt pro power on board which is pretty cool guys plenty of uh space here. you can see we do have electronic or excuse me led lighting here in the back as well for this one here and this one's also equipped with the step here as well to assist you getting up into the bed oh. To assist you, I'm sorry about that. To assist you getting up into the bed, but there we go, guys. You can see there's your step there, and you also can see we got also a small little right there. As you can see, they're pretty cool, and you got some spaces to put things in your drinks. Let's go ahead and raise this bed door. It's a little bit heavy, not too bad, but there we go. And coming here to the front of this Super Duty, let's go ahead and raise the hood. And thank you for for providing hydraulic shocks even in this base model. So here we have the base engine for the Super Duty's 6.8 liter normally aspirated V8. This is producing 405 horsepower, 445 pound-feet of torque, going through a 10-speed automatic transmission. And as I mentioned, this has got the 4x4 system in this truck, so you got plenty of ability to go off-road. Uh, pretty simple truck. This engine, 420-24, got the flex fuel ability as standard before it was an option. Fuel efficiency, I'm gonna put the numbers for you guys up on the screen. As you know, the uh, Biscuit 4 does not release any, or the Biscuit the government does not have any numbers for the Super Duty trucks, but I'll put what some of the numbers I have found. It should be around the 15, 16, 17 miles per gallon, somewhere in that range, but I'll put the numbers for you guys up on the screen. But it's your base prop, and of course, if you wanna go a little uh, more, more engine, you have to go to the 7.3 liter, Godzilla V8 or if you want to go to the diesel engines the power shocks you can all do that as well on this truck so but there we go guys here's a power plant for this XLT Super Duty let's go ahead and lower the hood and there we go and heading to the driver's side of this F250 as you can see we do have a steps here that's kind of copied from the from uh, Chevy but the steps really help you out if you want to ingress into your bed and get something grab something as you can see this one is not equipped with any type of rear window now coming here to the main door as you can see we open up this door single cab pretty simple cab as you can see and this one here is equipped with the dealer installed side step which is a pretty cool option since it's a little higher than usual with this 4x4 tires now coming here as you can see this has got also the the, the, tint, the tint that this dealership did a little light tint which helps you out here especially here in Florida plenty of storage space here on the bottom a little bit of softer material here on the door but controls here for your windows and your and your door locks now as you can see here we have the light gray vinyl seats which are pretty nice option they feel pretty soft but they're pretty rugged as well now this one here as you can see is equipped with the bench seat or the third passenger which is pretty cool and this one does have the workbench there as well we'll check out in just a few moments but the rest of the interior is pretty basic just a normal cab plastic steering wheel it is tilted until it's totally adjustable but they have the rest of it just the minor stuff the regular stuff that comes with this this super duty this little american flag right there and uh controls for your lights basically to swing out your door and that's how it is it's really a bunch of pretty simple interior but let's go ahead and uh get inside so here we are inside of this f-250 pretty simple truck as you can see it's single cab not much to show this and this has got really really very the minimum options before we go on let's go ahead and start up this truck let's go ahead and get our, our key here with me as you can see it's got open close and panic and we do have to have the key as old cool and insert the key and get this truck started Seventy-five years, because obviously this is twenty twenty-three still. Now for that, will be seventy-six if you get twenty twenty-four, but that's not included on the twenty twenty-fours. So this is basically the most base interior that I've done on a Super Duty, but it's pretty comfortable as well. It's got plenty of room, as you can see in the single cab. We have some uplifter switches up here. We do have a place to put your sunglasses, and we have some lights here as well, as you can see there, your rear, rear mirror. In terms of space, it's pretty comfortable to be honest. I'm about five eleven, and this thing has plenty of space, pretty comfortable, and plenty of headroom as you can see there. And uh, just you know, coming here to the base of this interior. Now, if you guys want to check out a little or if you want to see a, a better interior of the super duties check out my king wrench video or the lariat with the tremor package video those are much more uh, complete interiors but just giving you here the bare bones of what you can get for about fifty thousand dollars worth of super duty come here on this side you can see we got the upper glove box which is open not like usually the buttons here to open this up but here in excel they're kind of exposed outside here we have the lower glove box as you can see there's a pretty good size room super duty stand right here on the uh trim of the dash as you can see there we got the ac vents here coming up here we got a little more storage here on the top we have your hazard button here we have your check to control off here we have your sync port system with the eight inch touchscreen this is basically you got your base system with just a radio apple carplay android auto connection to your phone and that's about it not much, not much you can add to this system but that's the base system that comes with this excel so here we have a little more storage space as you can see i have my phone in there storing right now but it's a pretty good little spot for put more things this is your physical control buttons for your radio and here we got about a six i think it's a four speaker radio 
which uh, doesn't sound too bad at all. It's pretty, pretty decent stereo uh, manual controls here for your radio. Then here we have a single stone AC, as you can see there. It's pretty nice. It's, the AC is cooling pretty nice. It's pretty warm day today here in Florida. Here we have your rear controller. We have your 4x4 system here, your controllers with the drive motors as well. And as you can see, the drive modes we got uh, normal. We have slippery. We have off-road, as you can see. And I think that's about it. Not much of other ones. Tow and haul and echo and that's about it that's a good amount of uh basically drive modes for this truck now over here we got the controllers for a 4x4 those on AC as i mentioned here we have two 12 volt connections one here and one here we also have a house port connection right there three three prong connection and usb ports on there a little more sparse space here in the bottom as you can see it's a flat four coming here to the center as you can see we have the workbench with this kind of goes up and down as you can see it's pretty cool you can do bring this up and it does fold a little bit this way as you can see not a lot i think i thought this will fold, fold a lot more but i might be wrong but this is just the way as much as it goes but pretty cool little workbench that four provides and you can just slide this back expose your cup holders and you can bring this up here and that's what we're going to do to basically have your third person here in this seat but and before we uh, come here to the front let's go ahead before let's go ahead and close the door but before we do let's go ahead and hear this v8 that's pretty good it sounds pretty nice and healthy v8 brand new this has got about 388 miles on it, so it's not a super new, but it's still a brand new truck. So here at this lot, but that EV8 sounds pretty good. Let's go ahead and close the door, get a little more quietness so, in here. The cockpit here, as you can see, the steering wheel is pretty decently nice. It's got plastic, doesn't feel that great, but it's basically what you get for this base Super Duty. So we got controls for your cruise control and your center screen here in the middle. Now there's a few uh, things you can do here. We got a different uh, configurations you can do. We got fuel economy, as you can see, it says about 13.4 average of fuel economy. That could be wrong right this that hasn't really been out on the road but i'm sure this, this is big one you're gonna get you got some definitely some the, definitely some other screens here there's some off-roads as well you can do all kinds of temperature and all kinds of things if you're going to tow and there's also all some more uh screens for off-road and stuff like that you can select but there we go guys you can see analog gauges on the tachometer and speedometer it's basically your gear selector right there and that's about it for this uh this super duty so you can see pretty basic but it's a comfortable setting in here and if you want to go with some off-road in a super duty this is actually a pretty good model uh, so i think this is the lightest thing you can get from an f-250 for this engine and this configuration as you can see but so let's go right. ahead and go out for a touch up on us xl f-250 let's go ahead and put our reverse camera first and check out the reverse camera now, as you can see the screen is actually a little bit smaller but it's not bad at all it's got some good graphics and you got some trajectory lines as you can see there that kind of move and i don't see that we have some we have, we have some sensors there as well but uh we're too far off to kind of activate them but you can see we all can also kind of screen down as well there on the camera so but pretty good uh pretty good camera guys go ahead and uh head out and check out how this f250 nobody coming let's go and check out how this f250 drives with this base b8 model now as i mentioned before this b8 model got the flex fuel uh options standard for 2024 and uh, but it seems pretty nice though this dash is nice so coming here quick stop brakes feel pretty decent and let's go out and see how this girl drives now this is obviously got 400 horsepower 405 horsepower to be exact and this is apparently should be the pretty lightest if it is the lightest actually xl or f250 you can get and nobody coming so let's go ahead and just give a quick drive for this girl and see how this girl goes That's a pretty decent power to be honest we got get up to speed pretty easily since the lightest chassis doesn't have a ton of uh you know i would say weight to move around like a crew cab or something bigger uh, but this actually pumps pretty good uh not much road noise from the tires considering they're uh you know there's a little bit of road noise not too much to be honest being the short wheelbase one it you can tell it's a little bit more bouncy this not having the fx4 or the uh upgraded shocks and this is definitely right yeah you can tell this is a little bit more like bouncy and nervous you can feel but it's not bad at all going about 65 which are basically yeah you can tell this thing is pretty pretty agile i'm not i can't even tell i'm doing about 65 but it feels pretty stable the the bright is a little bit bouncy and a little more truckish but overall a, a decent ride not much road noise to be honest and the steering is pretty decently direct not as good as the one in the king ranch model that king ranch uh, that i test drove before was probably the smoothest the most you know i don't know tracked i don't know it just felt so good on the road the suspension i don't know everything was just perfect on the truck but this uh, xl you know single single cab feels pretty good now obviously this is a big truck that meant to handle but 
It doesn't feel bad at all, I'll be honest. And like, you hear that, you hear that noise? That was my plate that I have here in the back. And this put in it. That, I believe this got some sort of Ford F, you know, uh, some sort of driver rates, but basically not much. These are base trucks and just maybe it has some, you know, of course, just minor things, but no Ford Copilot 360 type of things. You can option them off, of course, but and turning this thing in hasn't turned bad, but if we get a little power. Yeah, she definitely got some good power and she goes. This 405 horsepower with 445 pound feet of torque definitely moves this truck a little quicker than usual. But I like it, it feels good. That this, I mean, you feel high, but they don't feel hugely intimidated. But now here the, the road is a little bit more unstable. You can definitely feel the truck a little bit more bouncy, a little more of truck-like. But at least if you want to take this thing light off-road, you got those tires that give you, and there's another F-250 here in the front. But you can, if you want to go off-road, this definitely has the ability to go with, especially with this 33-inch Goodyear tires. It's pretty, pretty semi-aggressive for off-road. You don't have the suspension, but uh, and I think the suspension will. I will probably go ahead and get an FX4 package, just to give it those better riding shocks. I have a little more dampening to, to, to make the ride a little smoother on the road. That's what I kind of see. Obviously, the Tremor one is a little bit stiffer, but I found out the FX4 package, especially on the King Ranch that I drove, was really good, smooth ride, and you still get that off-road ability. Now, Ford also, as I mentioned, gives you those raised, uh, basically, vent tubes for the water fording. So that's pretty cool that they did that as well. And the trucks, if you want to take this thing a little bit deeper into the water, you're able to do that. I said, you know, I guess I just did a review on the 2024 Bronco Everglades, which has also those vent tubes moved up as well to go deep into the water. So that just basically gives you, that's the thing that I was also about the trucks that Ford thinks about that. Racing those vent tubes, you don't have any problems with the venting or those things clogging up. Or at least if you're going to do some minor water intrusion in your truck, or at least, you know, water fun. So, but let me know, guys. I mean, this is this truck is about, as I mentioned, it's got the few uh, dealer install options. So you're looking a little bit over $51,000 or fifty-four, excuse me. Uh, but I think there might be... The, the internet pricing might be a little lower on this than the, the hyper high, high 40 so 49 i might be wrong but i'll put that information for you guys but this is a pretty good truck i mean plenty of power plenty of truck i mean you can got a lot of abilities if you want some something like a super duty like this i think this is a pretty good truck to have i'll be honest and that steering is a little slow but it does turn pretty decently and it's got good power though yeah power is sufficient and this definitely feels a lot lighter on the turn there definitely for sure yeah the, the, the bumps seem a little bit more unstable once you take it but it's it's controlled in a certain way it's not not bad at all this is a great truck for every day smaller you got plenty of ability for the eight foot bed you know for fifty four thousand dollars it's actually a pretty good truck obviously it's got pretty good amount you got ac you got a at least a decent you know digital screen uh for your cruise control and all i mean for your excuse me for your radio and all that kind of stuff so i think it's a pretty healthy truck to have i mean it's a pretty good truck to own for the price oh sorry about that guys my whatever a big bump there and you can see the <laughs> bumped up a little bit but and coming here to the stop Brakes feel pretty good, the good brake pads. And this FF feels a lot lighter than these higher trim models that I've driven. And nobody coming. Let's go ahead and go out here and take a left. Yeah, the suspension is definitely uh, not up to par. To the, uh, this definitely needs some upgraded shocks considering you got the off-road tires. But the power is very good, the good, good, good power. All right, nobody coming except for this guy, but we gotta be on the right-hand side of the road. And once again, we give a little bit of power. It's got some good acceleration. I'm only giving it maybe 30, 40% of the power. And she's going pretty quickly. I mean, she's got a good, super smooth transmission changes as well. You can barely feel them. So this thing has it's got some power. This thing is pretty fun. Like that other uh, F-150 that I tested with the base truck with the twin turbo uh, 2.7 liter engine. That also was fantastic. Quick truck, to be honest. See, this this uh, single cabs are pretty fun. I can tell you that. They're much lighter. And if you want to do some some light off-roading or even with this uh you know heavy duty truck uh this is a good truck to do so 
But let me know what you guys think of this F250 XL base. You know, single cab, super duty. If this is a good buy, we prefer to buy something a little bit bigger, a Lariat or going to a King Ranch. Unfortunately, they don't offer, say, a King Ranch in this specification. I think it would be pretty cool to get something like this or even an extended cab in, in a King Ranch model. I think that'll be awesome, especially our Tremor in this version it would be fantastic. I wish Ford would build something like this in, in a Tremor version, give you that suspension and maybe go to the 7.2 liter V8 as well. But let me know what you guys think of this uh, F250. Find it a, it's a great little truck for, for the price. I think it's plenty of that. Big thank you once again to Barto Ford for allowing me some time with this F250. But all right, guys, in conclusion, great truck, good price, you know, plenty of ability. And uh, I think it's a fun truck, especially in this shorter wheel range base. But let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching. Thank you for if you made it this far into the video. Subscribe if you haven't done it. Leave me a comment. And I appreciate every one of you watching. Have a fantastic day. We'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.